Hey, I'm Kelsey from Premier Gal, and today I'm going to show you how to use auto color and apply match to create fast and easy corrections to match two different shots. All right, let's jump on in. So here are two different shots in the timeline. There's this one and this one. And although they were shot on the same camera, there was different lighting situations. So we're going to try to match them so they feel more cohesive. So this shot is already corrected. I actually made another tutorial already on how I corrected it. So this was the before and this is the after. You can see that I fixed the white balance and the skin tone. So definitely check out that video. But for this video, let's focus on this shot and matching it to this shot. So let's select our clip here and first make sure that you're inside of the color workspace, okay? This will bring up the Lumetri scopes on the left and Lumetri color on the right. Let's start with basic correction. By looking at the scopes, we can see that it's a pretty well lit shot. There's enough contrast and all of the colors are in balance. Of course, we can maybe add a little bit of exposure, just a slight amount and maybe darken the shadows slightly, but you know, I'm not really sure what I would do to correct it in this case. And this is why I can actually undo this and use Adobe Sensei AI technology to select auto and it will make those corrections for me. And notice that it made corrections to these color controls as well as all these light controls, very subtle amounts, but we can use this intensity slider to make these corrections greater or lower depending on what we're going for. So I'm just gonna increase it slightly to around 58 or so. I think that looks fine. Everything here looks okay in the scopes as well. If you're wondering how to use scopes, in my intro to color tutorial, I give a breakdown on how I use all of these scopes. So if you're feeling a little bit lost right now, take a moment to go watch that video and then come back to this one. So basic correction is done. Now it's the cool part. Let's go down to color wheels and match and let's open up comparison view. And this will create a new side-by-side -side view of our reference and our current image, which is where our playhead is. This reference image, if you don't see the correct image in your case, you can use this blue dot to scrub to a new location in your timeline. So in this case, our reference shot is good. Now select your clip, go up here and make sure to keep face detection on because we have people in the scene because this will create higher quality matches for skin when there's other distracting colors in the background. If you don't have people though, you can check this off. And now select apply match. And just like that, it made adjustments to the mid-tones, highlights and shadows to better match this image. It's not perfect yet. There are a few more adjustments we can make, but look at the before in the after. It's a lot closer. So there's a couple more things that I would do. I'm going to go up to basic correction here. I'm going to increase the contrast and I'm going to increase the saturation slightly. So that way it looks more vivid like the other shot. So now here's the before and the after. And now when I look at these two shots, I'm like, okay, these shots belong together. So when you're editing and you're color correcting, you want to make sure that your colors look similar so that way the viewer's not like, you know, shocked that a different shot maybe has a completely different color than the other shots in that scene. And to turn off comparison view, you can click on this icon here or from color wheels and match, you can click on comparison view. And now we have two different clips that look like they belong more together than they did before. So that's how you can auto match two different shots inside of Premiere Pro is really fast and intuitive to do, but you still have to do a few more tweaks inside of basic to make sure it feels right. If you want to learn how to match your own shots to your favorite Hollywood films, I actually made a tutorial on how to do this on my own YouTube channel. So you should definitely check this out. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below and be sure to check out the other videos in the series with the link in the description box. See you next time. Bye.